What's good? Brian Tong here, and welcome to the Apple Bits for everything good and bad inside the world of Apple. Let's just get to the big news this week, and the latest report from BuzzFeed claims Apple will hold its next event on March 25th, with subscription services being the focus and not hardware. So, for all of you that were hoping to see the next AirPods and maybe the unicorn AirPower Mat or a new iPad Mini 5 or entry level 10 inch iPad that we talked about in the last video, the current rumors say they won't be there. Like, nada. Nothing. Now, BuzzFeed has a solid track record calling out Apple's keynotes before they happen because Apple tells them first. The report says it will unveil Apple's new rumored news service that will add paid subscriptions to the Apple News for publishers like. New York Times, Washington Post, and The Wall Street Journal for unlimited access to their paywalled content for $9.99. But Apple is still negotiating deals with publishers before its March 25th announcement. And uh, we know how stubborn, <clears throat> I mean, how good of a negotiator Apple can be after their first failed TV streaming bundle negotiations. Yeah. Now, there's also reports that a separate magazine subscription is in the works thanks to their acquisition of digital magazine platform Texture last year that will also cost $9.99 per month. Many magazine publishers are on board with a 50-50 revenue split, which is what they're used to while being part of Texture, but it's not clear yet if newspaper outlets are willing to agree to similar terms, with Apple reportedly wanting to keep all of the customer email and credit card info to themselves. But Apple wouldn't just have a keynote just for an Apple news service, right? I hope, but Bloomberg reports that it will also be planning to unveil its TV movie streaming service and celebrities will be in attendance. That's how you know it's true. Now, Hollywood stars like Jennifer Aniston, Reese Witherspoon, and JJ Abrams, all people who have reported deals for making content for Apple streaming service, they're gonna be there. We've talked a whole lot about Apple's video service here and on my Apple Bits XL podcast. Apple streaming service will include TV shows and movies acquired or funded by Apple with more than two dozen already in the works. Bloomberg reports it will be its own paid streaming service where other reports have claimed some of Apple's original content might even end up being available to users for free. But with all the streaming services many of us pay for, it's not gonna take one, but at least two must-see, can't-miss shows for me to jump on board, and that's no easy feat especially when Netflix reportedly spent $8 billion on original content in 2018 compared to Apple who spent one, one billion dollars. Now, Apple could also be working with streaming apps like a Showtime and other TV network apps to create their own TV streaming bundle on top of this, but nothing has been confirmed yet. And remember, it didn't work out for them last time. But for me, the best bet is for Apple to bundle all three of these services together as a single package option, you know, let's add in Apple Music and maybe throw in some iCloud storage as a benefit for an all you can eat Apple media bundle. I would eat that up and at least it's something that I'd consider. But what's all these services without hardware, right? Multiple reports keep saying there will be no hardware, like stop dreaming, really. No new AirPods or iPads, but doing a keynote for services and not introducing new products to use them on, that seems like a missed opportunity, but <laughs> What do I know, right? I don't want a roughly $1 trillion company. So maybe we'll see some of them in a press release or at a later keynote in the spring. But right now, the report says it's all services and no hardware on March 25th for Apple's keynote that will take place at Apple Park at the Steve Jobs Theater. So I want to know, what do you want to see at the keynote? Forget about the rumors and reports. Like, what do you want to see? I want to put them in the comments because I want you to be selfish, right? This is all about you. And if you say something nice, I might read it next week and then you could show your friends or friend or at least your mom and say, hey, I was on a Brian Tong video. And then they'll reply with, who's Brian Tong? Now, I would definitely give all the services a free trial run, but unless there's this killer content that I gotta have, I don't think I'd stick with it. I still don't have an Apple Music subscription, so I'd be one of those people that is truly in the ecosystem already that they really have to win over to get me on board. All right, if you like this video, Thumbs up, subs up, and hit that notification bell boop, to get the latest videos from me when they drop. You can also check out my weekly Apple Bits XL audio podcast where we go deep with the stories that matter to you. You can support the audio podcast and everything I'm doing. All my work is independent at patreon.com slash Brian Tong. Thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Be safe. Peace.